In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play this sport by using these two references. Okay everyone, so to 3D all the materials and you can see all the materials needed in the screen. Then we will start with the step one which is the sketching. Okay, so we're gonna mix for raw umber and white to make it light raw umber or light brown. So we're gonna do the sketching using the medium size flat brush or number eight nylon flat brush. Okay, so the step two will be the under painting. So we're gonna use the blue the raw umber so that we can have a dark sketch or under painting so we're gonna do it uh, we're gonna cover everything with the dark raw umber everyone the mixtures of uh, blue and the raw umber with a little bit of white okay so I, I I'm using the smallest uh, flat brush so if you are painting with me just follow what I'm doing and always have fun everyone okay so we can now see clearly the sketch I'm gonna put on the top okay there you go so we have here the raw umber and the white a little bit more umber so it will become not so dark and not so light also okay, so i am going to add the other painting or the background colors there okay so everything is covered now with the background brown or light brown color And then we have the raw umber and the white. Mix it together. I'm using the very small uh, liner brush or round brush, everyone. So just use the smallest round brush or liner brush you have. This is good for the tinier details. So I'm gonna sketch now the fisherman. As you, said, as you can see on my reference photo that uh, I downloaded photo of Fisherman in the boat and, and combine it with uh, using the Photoshop. Okay, so all I have to do is copy everything what I see there on my reference and that's all I need to do. Okay, there you go. That looks good. So all we have to do everyone is to copy what we see on our reference. So I'm gonna mix raw umber and a little bit of red and yellow to make some light brown. Yeah, this will be the for the skin tone everyone for the skin tone of the fisherman so we have to apply it uh, on the head and on the face part and then to the arm i think left arm and then to the right arm uh, always remember to use a smaller black brush so, so I'm gonna mix again for something like an orange, red, and yellow. And I'm going to cover it on the t-shirt, okay, the t-shirt part. Yeah, let's cover everything there. You can, you can uh, we have a guide with this the sketch. Okay, so white, a little bit of uh, blue or purple. So do not use white here, everyone. Just use, just mix white 
a blue and the red to make a light portal. So I'm using a light portal here. This is this part will be the dress, okay? The t-shirt. I'm gonna use blue umber, blue, and to make a dark color. So I'm not using any dark everyone, so I'm using the blue umber and the blue. You can also use purple, blue and the uh, red. But this one I'm using the raw umber and the blue. Okay? So yeah, this will be for the dark part, the head part of the cup. I did the ear. So I think it's, it's not so much hard to paint this one. And always enjoy it. If you want to paint the whole picture or the whole uh, painting tutorial or the full tutorial of this one everyone uh, you can uh, find it on my channel or I will provide you the link in the description box there's a full tutorial on this one I did a few years ago okay so blue a little bit of blue umber so Going to add here, this will be something like a box. You can use purely yellow and black. This is a look, your part that will look good on the front. White, yellow. Just mix white and yellow. Okay, step step, I'll be adding details to the uh, to the fisherman. Okay, I'm going to add the highlights of them using the white and the yellow. So my light source is coming from the right side of the back part. So the highlights will be on the back part of the dress of the tissue okay. since I'm using white or white t-shirt I'm going to use yellow and the white for the lights yeah white I can use a uh, white also to make the color much lighter then yellow and white you can also add there on the bottom of the jumper. Okay, I don't know what you call it. It's going to dress for this pants collection. Okay, well, again, blue, a little bit of white. It's like, a, I think it's like a purple, a blue, red, and white. But add more white to make it lighter purple. Okay. Okay. I just added a little bit of details there so that you can see much more depth on the t shirt. Okay, there you go. So I am using the liner brush or the round brush everyone, round brush, okay. so this will be good for the tiny or details, okay. also it is very important to use this one, okay. do not use any bigger brush, you cannot create good details using bigger brush, so I'm going to add a little bit lights or highlights on the skin tone, the face or the, or on the, on the neck, so just use, just mix the light brown again, raw umber, red, and then white to make a light brown, okay? But for white, make it a lighter brown. And then you can use uh, white also, plain white, just so uh, line on the neck part. It will look that it's been hit by the sunlight, okay? And then there on the bottom part, it's more white, 
I just want to exaggerate the scar to her because I want to show that it's been hit by those lights. Okay? And so the head part, uh, just a little bit gray, yes, so or light uh, blue on the red or purple with the head part of her body. I think it's a cup, okay? Just blue, red, and white. Mix it together, you can create lighter color. So I have a little umber, I think a little bit dark, the dark details of the uh, some parts. And then go on the red and yellow for some darker browns. I will make I will use it for the for the hands for the shadings shadings of the hand for arms. And also to the head part. We're talking about darker shades as well. Okay, so I hope that you you understand what you're thinking. Okay, so another lighter browns. The browns are umber. Then me, I'm gonna put it in the jumper to the pants. Add a little bit dark there so that it can create depths or something. Or you can see shadows. Shadows are very important. So, my advice always around that to keep in practicing, keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's so why everyone I'm using always the uh, five limited colors because you will learn how to mix. It's very important. Okay, so let's continue doing this. So, step for adding details to the white boat so white blue then more white a bit more blue we can add a little bit of red also but this is the color will be um light purple okay so just a bit lines i'm using the medium size flat brush so this is the uh, number eight nylon flat brush. It's a medium size. You can use number nine, seven. I don't know the numbers uh, of your brushes or one, but use the medium size. It's not so much big. It's not so much small. It's the it's the center. Okay. Uh, you can find uh, my references or my brushes on my website or one, jamesonda.com. Okay, so the other part also, just the lines. Okay, I'm gonna use red, blue, umber, and I'm gonna put a darker red color on the wall. Okay, wall. so just mix the blue, umber, and the red to, to, to add in the body of the both of you. So my boat will be red. Okay. Again, fill it up. Okay, so same thing. Blue umber with red. This one blue umber red. Don't, don't put too much blue umber, everyone. Just few amount of blue umber. Okay.
Yeah. So blue, blue umber. You can add some dark colors here, dark tone. The inside of the boat. So always remember that I am not using any black everyone, so I'm using the blue and the raw umber as my black or dark color. You can also I can also use the purple which is the combination of red and blue to make it uh, dark. Good. So I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of red and yellow to make it Just a little bit lighter brown over here, and then uh, we can we can put it there. This brown color line on the above the red, and also on the top part. Yeah, this is the wood part. Just brown, pure brown. And I'm using small brush, just remember that. The smallest fat brush, in the number two nylon fat brush. Okay. So on the top part, and I can put a uh, white there so that it will become lighter. And this part of the one will be lighter brown because this part. Be heat uh, as we heat by the sun with it. So you can use lighter yellowish color, lighter yellowish brown for this part because this part is with heat by the sun with it. Probably you can even use white there, but I think that is too much. That is fine. Okay. Just get slowly at work for the sun so that you will not have any mistakes. And always use the small brush. Okay, so I think this is not so hard. And if you want to paint the full tutorial, I will put the link on the description box or you can find it on my YouTube channel. Just Search the fisherman with a red boat. Okay, yeah. And then I'm gonna mix for. I'm gonna use this brown. Okay, we just try to detach some parts there. Okay? So the white, I'll be using white again. I'm gonna try to add highlights on this part here. It's probably uh, it's been hit by the sun. So, yeah. You can use white a little bit yellow so, because the light this time will be yellowish yeah, because this is after uh, sunset or uh, it's a sunset. Yeah. So blend it a little bit. Okay, so and now we're gonna grab the bottom part. I think. So I'll be using the uh, smaller flat brush, or I mean, I will be using the liner brush of one. So it's number one, or you can use zero, double zero, triple zero liner brush so that we can create linear detail. So, this one here, I am going to, uh, I, am, I am adding some lines, white lines to this. We need by the sunlight, and I want to exaggerate these things a bit. I want to add very bright color to it, okay? The top part also.
here yeah sometimes acrylics when they dry the color went down uh, it's uh, not so much light anymore after it went down so yeah I'm, I am using a student grade acrylics again I'm using the cheap acrylics so so that uh, everyone can afford to to try this tutorial I do not want to use any expensive acrylics for this one it is for everyone so students want to learn and want to use cheap acrylics so all you have to do is, is adding some details yeah. adding more details it's very important also okay Go. Brown. I'm gonna put a light brown here on the on this on this part of the bowl. Okay, bowl. Blue umber. I'm gonna put light brown. I'm gonna darken this part. And before I put uh, before I put the uh, highlights brown. Uh, after I put the highlights I add now the darker shades okay? yeah Okay. Yeah, I am almost done, everyone. Yeah, I have. I just have to add those darker shadows. Okay. To all those uh, the things that we need to complete the, to complete the entire painting. Okay. So white, a little bit of red and yellow to make some lighter orange or like a flash color. Okay. And then you can put it here on the side of the boat, the red part. Uh, this will be the highlights of the red. Okay. So this is uh, red, a little bit of white and yellow. Do not make it also. Uh, just add yellow there to become a little bit of orange. Then just throw something like that. Okay. Then I'm gonna add more white. And then, okay. Then I put the raw umber, the red. Then I'm going to shade it on the bottom part. Okay, so this will be the final step, step everyone, which is the, uh, is the shading, okay? Uh, just a uh, shading to make everything look better. Actually, if you want to paint the entire painting, uh, you can uh, I will, uh, put the link in the description box or in the comment area or uh, you can search it on my YouTube channel. You can search the painting the red coat or the red fisherman with the red belt. Okay. So I'm gonna have a little bit raw umber here, shades of raw umber. 
Okay. So I think I am done everyone. I hope that you are happy with the result and I hope that you can also paint this fisherman with a red boat. Okay, so thank you everyone. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and all power praises belongs to me.